hi friends uh, how are you all hope you all are doing great in this pandemic situation staying safe from covid 19 uh, hi this is prashun day and i welcome you all to my youtube channel botanica uh, we uh, do gardening in our home and in terrace or in a balcony everything but uh, when we do vegetable gardening uh, or uh, sometimes few plants also indoor or outdoor plants <coughs> we face few uh, uh, problems with our plants like the leaves are falling the leaves are uh, getting rotten or the leaves have been eaten by the uh, insects like ants or bugs or many things like you can see my plants this is my bean plant you can see so these are and these are my tomato plants so you can see these white you can see these damaged leaves so why that occurs and what are the reasons and how to get a precaution from them what are the necessary steps we can take uh, so that uh, our plants don't uh, fall in this sort of illness or this sort of disease which make uh, uh, damage the plant as well as the fruits that they are going to produce for us like the vegetables so you can see these these insects these insects so i can show you these bugs so uh, we in today's video complete uh, i'm going to discuss about these how we can take what are the uh, few steps are there to pre precaution uh, to keep our plants safe from these bugs plant and insects uh, so before starting and proceeding towards the video so if you're new to this channel or you're watching this video right now so please do subscribe and like press the like button because uh, in this channel you can find all sort of various sort of plants updates indoor outdoor everything every sort of plants things are there so without much delay let's get started uh, so why I decided to make this video like one of my subscriber asked me about it that how we can um, <clears throat> save uh, keep safe our plants from these bugs and these insects which kills our plant whether it's an indoor outdoor plant or it's a vegetable plant so I thought uh, preparing something good and informative uh, for my subscriber as well as for my viewers who are going to watch it watch it so today in this video I am going to discuss that this medicines which we can use both for um, whether it's an indoor outdoor plant or it's a vegetable or it's a leafy <coughs> anything any so we can use these uh, products um, on our plants spray it for its healthier growth and uh, from uh, keeping them safe from these all bugs related issues so without much delay let's get started uh, so uh, <clears throat> in today's video i will discuss i will say about two products which i'm been using uh, to ke keeping keeping safe uh, my plants so these products one is like this you can see this is a small um, in insecticide uh, medicine so i brought it from my nearest uh, um, <clears throat> nearest nursery and uh, how we can use it i asked from it so they say it, that this this helps us uh, to stay safe uh, keep their our plants safe from insecticides or from any bugs or insects so how we can use it so <clears throat> i've taken it out in a you can see in this so the color of this one is uh, blue of this uh, medicine and he said me that we can use it in a one liter uh, one liter water bottle so this is my one liter spray bottle so i will <clears throat> use two teaspoon so that's enough for it one So I have done two teaspoon you can see and now I will shake it and I will mix it properly. So it's done from my side. 
so it's done from my side uh, I have mixed it properly now uh, he said me to spray it properly in all the leaves so I experimented earlier on my plants so it was successful like a uh, few of my plants you can see these these are ants these and these are the main issues uh, they cause the main damage to your plants so what I will do I will spray it properly you can see I will give a proper sun bath to all my plants so it's, it's very effective because earlier also I have tried it so it saved my plants from all sort of bugs and all sort of uh, diseases so in this way I will spray it properly so we it's not required to uh, like we fertilizer like in, in case of fertilizer we after 15 to uh, 30 days we fertilize every day so in in this uh, sort of uh, insecticide uh, the uh, spray is not required to spray it after 15 to 30 days every day is one time is required but if yeah, it's not effective in that case you have to spray it twice after waiting for 15 to 20 days so spray it properly I will talk about another useful uh, medicine also which is very good for this plant that is the neem oil I haven't used it but I saw it uh, in the in the nursery uh, <clears throat> so it's it, it's also very effective that they said uh, we can get it from the Amazon it's a small uh, 50 ml or uh, 15 ml or 50 ml uh, bottle comes up in the Amazon neem oil is there you can do one thing in similar way the way I showed it to you two two teaspoon in one liter of water bottle uh, mix it properly and spray it on your leaves properly from everywhere and at the end the remaining water just drain it on the soil so it's very good for the plant and uh, it gives a uh, strength to the plant to uh, survive uh, from these sort of diseases from this sort of uh, harmful uh, insects which cause damage to the plants uh, so these are the things that you have to keep in mind while you gardening uh, from uh, keeping safe your plants from these sort of diseases so I believe if the information that I provide to you regarding insecticide uh, how to use it in your plants to keep it safe from all sort of diseases was useful for you give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel because there are lots of more things coming regarding plants related so stay tuned and keep watching Botanica